so today we are going to BDL4 and this is super exciting for me because we are meeting our customers. So BDL4 is a site that is being currently trained on some of the safety procedures. The learners have not done any virtual reality training and they seem to be very excited about it. So we are there to observe the virtual reality training, collect their feedback, so that we can make further improvements to the training. Me, I'm an active learner. So I ain't even have the volume on and you see I was speeding right through it. Just do your little reading and then it shows you exactly what to do. If you're not doing it right, you can't continue. Instead of just like sitting and staring at the screen and intaking the information, you're actually doing it with the VR. So going onto the floor, it made me feel more comfortable that I would that I'm knowing what I'm doing. So VR fast and up training consists of two programs. FAST, which stands for Floor Access Safety Training and is a certification program for anybody who enters, navigates and exits Amazon Robotic Floor. I believe that virtual reality and introducing it in the classroom is going to help me as a trainer because not only is it going to lower the time that it takes for the trainee or the student to learn that information, it's also going to help them practice before they get on the live AR floor, which is a, a huge part um, of their ability to like retain that information. So by the time that they get on the AR floor, they'll be prepared, they'll be comfortable, they'll be able to see the replication of the AR floor in that virtual reality, so it's not as much of a shock when they first get on the floor. And if you get a chance to do more VR um, training, then it would be, be easier for us to understand like the training and how to get stuff done and be more comfortable with the job. Um, you in like your own little world, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fun, it's like a video game. I would love one of these as a person. We can also train associates even before the equipment is being installed and they know how to operate. They can practice, they can uh, check how to interact, how to make uh, decisions and it's within the safe environment. So they don't feel afraid of making a wrong decision at the time. And this is just like an amazing win that we can teach people how to be safe before they have to actually step out onto the floor. Um, so I'm really proud of that. And it kind of is just the first door that's open. And I'm sure we're gonna have so many more opportunities to create similar modules to um, better train and more safely train our operators.